Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We What's are... his name? Praise his name. Yes, indeed. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. <laughs> we are continuing with our theme, Bible Characters and Lessons. Adam and Eve, that's who we're studying. Those are the Bible characters we're studying and learning lessons from them. So our subject for today is Eve, an agent yeah, mercy. of Satan. Jesus. Eve. Eve. An agent of Satan. That doesn't mean that all Eves have to be an agent of Satan, though. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, we're going to look and investigate and see how this perfect woman, yes, uh, this blessed woman, this content woman, became an agent of Satan. Every servant of Satan, listen to me carefully now, every servant of state, Satan, every child of the devil, every person who is not born again, is also a direct or indirect agent, agent and of, representative of Satan. Of Satan. All right? That's just a fact. We, we, we can like it or not like it. It's still a fact. Yeah. Every single person living has some degree of influence on others. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter if it's your friends. It even includes strangers, people who are absolute strangers. You have some degree of influence upon others. Mm -mm. And this influence is either a witness for God yes. or it is a witness for Satan. Satan. The influence is never neutral. Mm. Either you are exuding the spirit of God, God or you are radiating the spirit of Satan. Just That's just how it is. Mm -mm. By our actions by our attitudes, by our words, mm -hmm. by our facial expressions, yeah, by the atmosphere that surrounds us, by the lives we live, we have an influence on others. Mm -hmm. There's no getting around it. Mm -hmm. You know, this study is not for the purpose, I want to make this clear, this study is not for the purpose of making Eve seem like an evil person. Now, that's not what the purpose of this study is. But rather the purpose of this study is to reveal that any human being who ventures to believe and obey Satan becomes the servant of Satan. And also they automatically become an active agent of Satan used by Satan to recruit souls into the kingdom of Satan. <clears throat> That's the purpose of the study today. Let's mm. pray. Our Father which art in heaven, O oh Lord, give us understanding. Teach us. And then anchor us, Lord. The things that we live, uh, let them be uh, uh, under your spirit and direction, Lord. Lord, please make us to be Genuine articles, genuine representatives, genuine agents of God in heaven. Not of the enemy. Please, Lord, make it so. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's look at some scriptures. Remember, we're talking about the subject today. Eve, an agent of Satan. Hmm. What we want to look at how this transformation would happen, which happened in a very short period of time, how this transformation occurred. Because the same thing happens today. Hmm. The same thing happens today. Mm -hmm. We're going to read some scriptures uh, that we have already read this week, but uh, we're going to put them in context. We're going to incorporate them in this subject for today, Eve, an agent of Satan. Let's, mm -hmm. let's just revisit Genesis chapter 3 and verses 1 through 4. Let's, let's have a closer look at it. 
Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. All right, let's look at it. How the Eve, perfect Eve, happy and contented Eve, uh, uh, the Eve whom God had prepared everything that was needed for happiness and contentment. As a matter of fact, at this point in time, her name was not even Eve. Mm. Her name was Adam. God named them Adam. Mm -hmm. God called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Adam named his wife Eve after sin had entered. Mm. So we're just identifying her using Eve, but she wasn't even called Eve then. Mm. They were Adam, both of them. One man, more than one person, in the image of God. But now, how, did, how was she transformed? Let me start off by pointing out that the serpent used what God said. He started off saying to the woman, Hath God said? Mm. Oh, one of the most effective tools of the devil is the word of God misrepresented. Mm -hmm. The word of God twisted. Mm -hmm. the, the word of God used in a subtle way. Mm -hmm. that, that's important for us to know. Everybody who stands up in the pulpit is not necessarily rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. Everybody we see as a television evangelist mm -hmm. or some big time television evangelist who has uh, huge churches with thousands of people in it and he's, 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 he's riding around in private jets. All of that is not necessarily the word of God mm. in truth. Oftentimes it's distorted, it's perverted, it's mm. twisted, it's misinterpreted. Mm. It's, giving a, it's given a wrong meaning. It's used to take people in a wrong direction. That's by Satan. He uses individual. You know, the serpent was more subtle, more mm -hmm. cunning, and crafty, and sneaky, and tricky. Mm -hmm. He was a con artist. Well. And he went about his work of being subtle by using the word of God. I've heard tell of, and I have seen with my own eyes so many so-called ministers and preachers uh, attracting women to themselves. I'm talking about for sexual use. Using the word of God. Mm. Using their position as a man of God. Mm. Oh, 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 the word of God can be misrepresented and misused. And so Satan, that, that was debate. Hath God said, that's debate. He, he's baiting her in with the word of of God. <laughs> then he says, uh, Hath God says, Ye shall not mm -hmm. eat? Well, well, Eve uh, uh, was, 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 was listening and, and, and she said, Well, we may eat. And mm -hmm. God did tell her they could eat. Mm -hmm. But Satan was trying to take her in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted her to say, Yes, we can eat. Mm -hmm. And she had it right. But of the certain tree, we're not to eat. But what he wanted her to say is, yes, we can eat of all of the fruit of the garden. Mm -hmm. And then he wanted to say, but you can eat of this fruit also. Yes, yes. God is lying. Mm -hmm. You shall not surely God mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Mm -hmm. But he started off saying, have God said. Have God said. Uh, that lowered her defenses. We're, we're talking about what God said. Mm -hmm. He's the creator of the universe. Uh, you're talking about what God says. I, I can have an open ear to what you're saying. And, and so he baited her in. Uh, and then he moves. Well, let, let, me, let me bring in this element. God says, the Bible says, 
a certain thing. Mm -hmm. But we live in a time where <laughs> Satan is fast dividing us. I'm talking about mankind. Men and women dividing them. Mm -hmm. Twisting around all the arrangements of God. Mm -hmm. Men no longer marrying women, marrying men, mm. women marrying Mercy women. Jesus. Children don't honor their parents, mm. smacking them, shooting them, killing them. Mm. Think that they're equal with their parents. Well, you did it, I can do it. He's, he's busy doing that. Now, the Bible tells us something. I, I want to point this out. It's important. First Peter 3, 7 says what? Likewise... Ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Now, now God says, the Spirit says, the wife is the weaker vessel. Oh, mm -hmm. that's almost like a curse word in, 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 in uh, this thing of women's liberation today. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's the weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. If anything, she's the stronger vessel. Mm -hmm. you know, she, mm -hmm. She's the one who bears the children. Mm -hmm. uh, she seems to have better judgment than, than the man. And they go on and on. And, mm -hmm. and in many cases, that may be true. But God said mm -hmm. for the man to give honor to the wife. Because after all, understand that she is the weaker vessel. That doesn't mean she's inferior. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean she's stupid. Mm -hmm. Huh? It just means simply that she is the weaker vessel. That's why the enemy targeted her. Mm -hmm. And when he saw opportunity to confront her one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one oh, without yeah. Adam being yeah. present, uh -huh. he seized on it. Seized that opportunity. He understood. The truth of the matter is that she was the weaker vessel. And the Bible says she was deceived. But Adam was not deceived. Mm -hmm. he, he willingly went into this thing. After all, she's the only woman on earth. Mm. She is the weaker vessel. That's not a curse word. That's, that's just a reality. And mm -hmm. The one who was working subtly took advantage of that and seized on that because he was a Aware of that. Now let's go on and see what the serpent did. Remember, he's working subtly and uh, he's seeking to make Eve an agent of his. Let's, let's see Genesis 3, verses 4 through 6. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat. Oh, boy. We see the whole transformation right there. Mm -hmm. First of all, the devil started off by using supposedly... What God said. Mm -hmm. All right. And then he wanted to, to distort it. In actuality, he told the woman, God is lying. Yes, mm -hmm. you can't eat of all of the trees of the garden. Matter of fact, that includes all of them. Mm -hmm. There's only one reason why he doesn't want you to eat of this one that he told you don't eat of. Mm -hmm. Because God knows. You know, God's crafty and deceptive. Mm -hmm. You know, he's withholding something good. God knows that your eyes shall be opened and you'll be like God's. Mm -hmm. you, you have a higher level of existence. Mm. And then the woman began to reason. I'm sure mm. with his help and, help and suggestions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the appetite now, you know, it was good for food. Mm -hmm. Looked like all the other trees. Looked tasty. Make your mouth water. Mm. The appetite, it was, it was good for food. As a matter of fact, when Jesus started in his ministry, that's where he had to overcome first. Mm -hmm. On appetite, it's a big deal. Yes. But when she saw it was good for food and pleasant to the eye, it looked good, looked acceptable, and desired to make one wise, mm -hmm. we'll be like God. She took thereof and did eat. Mm -hmm. And then she became, instantly, mm -hmm. oh, get this, folk, mm -hmm. instantly, mm -hmm. 
didn't take a long time, a year, five years, or whatever. Instantly, she became the agent and representative of Satan. Mm -hmm. It says she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also to her husband with her. He was with her in the earth. He was with her in the garden. He was not far away. And she immediately went and got him and took fruit to him. Mm -hmm. And gave it to him. And the Bible says, and he did eat. Mm -hmm. it, it took very little effort from the devil. Mm -hmm. And he had to use absolutely no deception to get Adam. Mm -hmm. Only thing he needed was Eve. Yeah. <laughs> and he walked into it knowing that it wasn't right. Mm -hmm. Knowing that it was wrong. Yes. He was not deceived. He knew he was disobeying God, but Eve had already done it. Yes. And the devil used Eve. Sometimes he may use our spouse. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he may use our children. Mm -hmm. Maybe a brother or a sister mm -hmm. who we grew up with. Mm -hmm. Maybe a brother or a sister in the church. Yeah. Maybe a good friend. And you've been friends for years and years. Maybe he'll use that. It takes very little effort then for the, for Satan to pull you over to his side. And he has to use absolutely no deception of times. Mm -hmm. Just by virtue of who it is. Eve becomes mm -hmm. an agent of Satan. You know, uh, oftentimes uh, uh, we flip this thing. I'm talking about the deception that's so rampant today. You see, uh, originally, it looked like God was a just God. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear me on this. If you eat of it, you'll die. Simple. Justice. But we have flipped that thing. Because God has given us mercy and grace. We flipped it and gone to the, off the other deep end. We say you shall not surely die. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you do because of grace and mercy. I hope you can see that. Mm -mm -mm. We throw justice out the window. We, 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 we have come to believe that God just doesn't care. Mm -hmm. After all, he expects you to sin. He knows you're nothing but a sinner. That's why Jesus died, mm -hmm. just to cover up. You, you, you can live for the devil, maybe a part-time uh, serving of the devil, but you can do that because after all, you're weak, you're hum human. God knows you're going to fall. And grace and mercy will cover you. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. that, that, that negates the fact ye shall surely die. If you do these things, if you sin willfully and openly, consistently, habitually, you will surely die. Grace and mercy isn't a cloak for the servants of devil whereby they can still enter heaven. God help us mm. to see the, the deceptive ways of Satan. Now, listen, everybody becomes an agent of Satan now. Mm -hmm. all, all human beings on the earth who are nothing, nobody but Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and this drastic change that took place in them First of all, they had disconnected from God, which means they had disconnected from eternal life. Mm -hmm. They had disconnected from the spirit of God. Therefore, they were governed by their own spirit and the new spirit that they adopted, which was the spirit of the devil. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. It was the spirit of the devil who went about accusing God, mm -hmm. slandering God, yes. putting all the blame on God when, when, when it was him. And I want to look at this change. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 12. What happened? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. God went down in search of man. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. But the first thing he did after sin was begin to hide from God. As mm -hmm. if you can hide from God. Mm -hmm. How absurd. How ridiculous. Participation in sin means insanity. You, you, you're no longer thinking right. Mm -hmm. How are you going to hide from God? Mm -hmm. But God came down and spoke with him. He wanted to know from the man because he made him first. He made him the head. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. 
So he 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 wanted him to give an account first of all. Yes. Above and before the woman. Mm -hmm. And what did Adam respond? What have you done, Adam? Where are you? Mm. What's going on? And Adam, just just like what the devil would do, just just the spirit of the devil. Adam said, "The woman, the woman, just just dead on her, mm -hmm. whom you gave to yeah. me. The woman, she's at fault, me. and you at fault because you're the one you who gave, gave her to her me." To me. Mm. Hiding and mm -hmm. blaming, blaming others and blaming God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're sick unto death. Mm -hmm. Blaming God. How can you let this happen to me? Yeah. When we've been, every time we sit down at the table, eat stuff that's destroying our health and life. Yeah. Period. Yeah. All this processed stuff, these dead animals that we eat, making this use of. right. It's clean meat. It's clean mm -hmm. meat. They pump full of steroids and every other imaginable things. Mm -hmm. All kind of antibiotics they put them, they put into their body to keep them from dying, just to keep them alive so they can fatten them up and sell them. And then you eat it. And then you sick. Mm -hmm. When God clearly told his people in a specific way, leave that stuff alone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we eat almost nothing raw. Nothing mm -hmm. in the natural state. We got to cook everything. Mm -hmm. Eat a whole bunch of dead animal. A whole bunch of dead animal product. Mm. And then we sick and we want to pray about it. Mm. Come on. Lord, why did you let this happen to me? Please heal me. The woman whom thou gavest to me. Casting the blame on others instantly. And then, mm -hmm. and then God moved to the woman. Mm -hmm. uh, and what did Genesis 3.13 say? And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me and I did eat. And, and that was true. But she's putting the blame somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It's the serpent who you put in the garden, mm -hmm. who you allowed to be on earth. Mm -hmm. You could have stopped the devil from using him. You didn't. The serpent, your serpent, your creation beguiled me. He tricked me. He fooled me. He deceived me. And he did. And I did eat. Mm -hmm. How about just saying I ate of it? Mm -hmm. I chose to eat of it. I, I, I felt like, well, you were hiding something from me. You, I, I doubted your word. Mm -hmm. I doubted whether I would surely die. I, I, I believe the devil. I believe that I would enter into some higher sphere. I would be like you. I, I would discover what you're hiding from me. Why, why didn't she say all of that? Mm -hmm. No, she didn't. You know, that's an evil thing that we as human beings do. We're going to put a pin in it to tomorrow because we're going to talk about hiding from God tomorrow. That's what sin makes us to do, you know. You get all depressed, you don't want to pray. Yeah. Get too angry with somebody don't want to come to church. Don't want to go to church. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. But at any rate, this thing of blaming others. Look, let's look at what Jesus did. All right? Jude 1, 9. What does it say? Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. If we're going to be like Jesus... There is almost zero times when we need to bring railing accusations against people. Mm -hmm. Or even if they're true. Mm. Here's Jesus, the creator. That's Michael, the archangel. Mm. He was contending with the devil. So mm -hmm. from this text, we know that there was a dispute when uh, uh, Jesus came down to resurrect Moses. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There was a, the devil showed up. Oh, no, you uh -uh, you can't do this. This man is sin. The Bible says even in that instance, with the God of heaven, the uh, personification of perfection, the devil telling him what you can't do. <coughs> and even in that instance, the Bible says Jesus didn't bring any railing accusation mm -hmm. against him. Mm -hmm. He could have. Look at what you've done. Mm -hmm. Look at all the trouble you caught in heaven. You tore down a 
third of the angels and drew them out of heaven. Mm -hmm. You falsely accused God. Mm -hmm. You're a liar and a devil. And he could have done all of that, mm -hmm. but he didn't. He didn't. Are we going to be like Jesus? We do that type of thing and say, but it was the truth. Mm. All kind of railing accusations against our fellow man. Mercy, Lord. Help. In Luke chapter 6 and verses 40 to 42, what does it say? <clears throat> the disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Hold on one minute. Let's be like Jesus. Mm -hmm. You remember Michael, the archangel, mm -hmm. when contending with the devil? Didn't even bring against the devil himself a railing accusation. Mm -hmm. Now, what we need to do is be as the master. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please, dear Lord. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, <clears throat> but perceivest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye when thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. Now, if we're going to be like Jesus, which the Bible commands us to do, Inasmuch as we ourselves are faulty, mm -hmm. Jesus was not. Yes. So if he had any, if anybody had any right to bring a railing accusation against the devil himself, he mm -hmm. had that right. Mm -hmm. But the Bible highlights he didn't even do that. So if we're going to be like him, we won't do that to others. Mm -hmm. the, the, I'm not saying there's never a time when you point out something, but it's not the rule of thumb. It's absolutely in the background. And inasmuch as we ourselves are faulty, Mm -hmm. we, we, we are faulty yes, we, we have are. made plenty of mistakes in our lifetime yes. even if we don't make them anymore we are mm -hmm. faulty we are erring mortal beings how is it that you're so forward so strong mm -hmm. so exacting so blunt so curt when you're talking about the faults of another person mm -hmm. God says take the beam mm -hmm. out of your own eye mm -hmm. then you can see clearly to help the brother with his moat. Mm -hmm. Who has a moat, a speck mm -hmm. in his eye. Mm -hmm. And and the emphasis at the end there is what you want to do is help the brother. Mm -hmm. Not not cast him down and beat him up. L L Proverbs 25, 2 says this. What does it say? It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. It is the glory of God to conceal mm -hmm. a thing. Not oh, tell it. Oh Lord. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. Not make everybody know. Mm. Show up in church board meeting. Show up in a church business meeting. And tell it there. Mm. Don't tell a person in private. You got to tell it there. You got to get that poison out there so everybody will feel like you feel. Mm -hmm. You got to sneak around and call folk on the phone and say bad stuff about the the, the sister or the brother or the pastor or the elder, whoever you're talking about. Mm. The Bible says it is the glory of God to conceal a thing. Mm. The, uh, he puts on us the, his robe of righteousness, covering what we are mm. Mm. as he removes yeah, that see. filth from That's us. Good point. Mm. So if we want to reflect the glory of God, it is our absolute tendency mm. To conceal a matter. You know some dirt on somebody? Mm. You're not out publicizing it. Mm. Mm -mm. You're trying to get yourself all right so you can see clearly how to help them. Mm. Mm -mm. You don't go the route of Adam, the woman whom you gave me. You don't go that route. You don't go the route of Eve, the serpent who mm -hmm. you made. Mm -hmm. It's still the same today, and the Bible says mm -hmm. it is the glory of God to conceal the matter. It. God does it for you. You ought to also do it for us. Mm -hmm. Be merciful to their unrighteousness. Seek to help them. Seek to convert them. Seek to show them a better way with mm -hmm. all gentleness and long-suffering, mm -hmm. kindness, in love. When we believe and follow Satan, 
we become the servants of Satan. And thus, we are the representatives and agents of Satan to recruit folk into the kingdom of Satan. That's a terrible thing. If you start smoking, you're influencing other folk to smoke. Mm -hmm. If you lose your temper, you're including other folk. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you're influencing other folk mm -hmm. to do likewise. When you uh, say you're a Christian, but you eat like the pig, even if you're not eating the pig, you, you encourage other folk to do it. Mm -hmm. Just by what you do. Mm -hmm. When you are always walking around looking worried and mm -hmm. depressed and angry, mm -hmm. that's what you're exuding. Mm -hmm. You are either an agent of the devil mm -hmm. or you're an agent of God, exuding the spirit of God, mm -hmm. the peace of heaven. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, help us to understand how important our influence is. Help us to understand we must be genuinely connected to you. And then, Lord, help us to understand that the nature of your spirit doesn't run around not taking the blame. It doesn't run around blaming others, <clears throat> accusing others, making others to be at fault, talking about others. Highlighting their errors and their faults and their sins. It doesn't do it. <clears throat> Some of us do that so quickly by nature. We think nothing of it. And we think it's all right. Because we say it's the truth. Lord, help us to be Christians from our heart. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. Help us to shut our mouths mm. with great frequency. And seek to put our own lives in order so that we can be an instrument in God's hand to help that person get that speck out of their eye. Help us, Lord, please. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Good night.